Hitsuart. Hello fluffy viewers, Hitsu here with another tutorial. I'm sure it's been a long time already, but back in 2021, I learned a lot about editing my B-Roy model using both Unity and Blender. A really cool thing I learned to do was making yourself glow. If you play with the settings on whatever BTuber software you use, you might have seen the bloom effect. If you don't understand what it is, well, it just makes the bright colors in the scene glow brighter. Just be careful not to blind yourself. My eyes! So how do you make certain parts of yourself glow without getting blinded? The answer is easy, but also a little complicated. There's a couple tutorials on creating emissions, but they are all in Unity. So we will be using Blender. You can download the Nia b file in my Kofi page in the link below. I'll even provide an image of her eyes for you to use. But you can also try exporting her eyes in b Studio and turning them into a black and white PNG image using whatever art software that you have. Alright, hope you downloaded the files by now because we are starting right now. Okay, so we'll begin by opening Blender. Then you click General. And then press X. Click Delete. And then we can go to File, Import, DRM. And then you'll be looking for the file. And once you find it, it'll import the model. And I made a tutorial on uh, putting the add-on in Blender when I first began. So you can watch that video if you want to learn how I actually managed to import the VRM file in there. So now that we got Nia in there, we can go to Shading. Then you see we got all this in here. We want to select her face. So click her face. And you can see that this whole change. So now you go to your right. And then at your properties, which is the red circle. And then you'll see you have eye iris and eye highlight. So the highlight is mostly the, uh, the white dot in the eye, which is pretty much the highlight of the eye. And then you got the eye iris, which is the entire color of the eye. And that's exactly what you want to click. So select that. We'll select this and move it to the side. And then go click Emission Texture. And this already has an image imported into it. So this is called Shader Non-Black. So yeah, it's just the black texture. So nothing will happen out of that, even if you actually mess with the emission. So we can go to the right. And you can see the emission is in here as well. So we got emission texture. So click that. You got the same thing here. And there's the X button. So click X. And then it'll change the menu. It'll have, it will have no shader anymore. So you have to add a new one. We'll go to open the file. And search for the texture. Which is right here. Open image. And we got the eyes, the black and white eye texture in there. And then you go to the little TV on the top here, render properties, and then you will click bloom. All right. Once you click bloom, you might notice that the eyes or the model itself became a little bit brighter. You notice that so the model became just a little bit brighter. And you can go to Emission Color, right there. And you can see that there's like a, it's just all black. So what I'm gonna do here is just select this and drag it up. And you can now see that you have a color wheel in there. All right. And then you'll just click and drag the little dot in the middle to whatever color you desire. In this case, we can make her yellow eyes to glow purple or blue or any color. So you can try that out if you wish. But we'll just make it natural eye color brightness here. We can make it like a little bit like a gold color or bronze. <laughs> I don't know my color wheels, my colors too well. So um, yeah, um, you get what I mean. So I'm just gonna make it like a bronze color, make it glow. All right, and that's all you have to do. So now, just select the entire model. 
and export it by going to File, Export, DRM. I'm just going to call it Nia Tutorial. All right, and once you're done, you can try it out in whatever B2B software you have. Okay, so I'll be using BC Face for this. So once you open BC Face, click at Avatar. Then we'll open that Nia Tutorial file. Click it again, and then start. Okay, and I already have the Bloom already activated here. So this will work a little different for other software of B2Bing, but it should still work the same. You should, everything should have light settings and effect settings. So you should be playing with that stuff. So we'll go to effect settings and here's the bloom. All right, and you can see I can enable it and disable it. You click in here and you can change the color of the bloom as well. So it's a fun little detail that BC Face has, but most commonly we will stick with the white color and then just play with the color intensity on um, threshold and just wait uh, just keep playing with it until you get the results that you actually were expecting. Alright, so it's too much. <laughs> so I'm just going to play a little bit more with these settings and wait until I get the correct ones. Alright, and you can see that I managed to get the eyes. So if you do not really notice, um, I don't know why I did that. So the eyes right here are actually glowing. So you can see there's a light coming out from Nia's eyes. And you can still play with more of the settings, like activate ambient occlusion. And um, that really doesn't do much. <laughs> so um, yeah, you can also, let's play with the light settings. And you can also turn down the settings. Now we can make, get them like that. And you can see that the eyes will still keep glowing because these are like basically white textures. Um, the same thing goes with the hair as well because that's where the brightness of the hair is. So um, yeah, this will just make every single dark texture um, dark and every white texture to just be bright. Right, so yeah, you can see this is how it actually works. You can still play more, more with the bloom effect and just, you know, see what else is possible here. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's just gonna blind you. Yeah, that's the uh, pretty funny, but yeah, just keep playing, just keep playing with the settings till you get the results that you want. <laughs> Hope you found this useful. You can try the same thing with other images from your model. The emission comes from bright colors, so you can try coloring parts of your model white, and only that color will glow if the rest is color black or any dark colors. There are some tutorials out there about emission, but they use Unity and that requires a lot of steps that can be a little complicated and more time consuming. So it took some time for me to play with Blender and find if it was possible to do this. So I recommend my fluffy viewers to play with the software and try new things since it is how you learn and improve. So have fun trying out this skill. Well, thank you so much for watching my VTuber tutorial. If you enjoy this video, you can help out by hitting that like and subscribe button. Share with others, and I'll see you all in my next video. Alright, take care of Fluffs. See ya!